Hi guys, how's it going? I'm Gabby and welcome to another pack with me video. So today we are packing for a trip to Nashville, Tennessee, and I am so excited. I've been wanting to go to Nashville for a very long time. I'm going with my husband. We're going to be there for four days. I'm just, I'm just so excited. We're not going at like a big touristy season, right? Right now, uh, it's going to be about February, actually the first weekend of February when we're gonna be there. So not the most like touristic season, which should be nice. Maybe it's gonna be a little bit quieter. It also means it's gonna be a little bit colder. So right now I think the weather forecast, it's like five, max eight degrees in the day and then it does go below zero in the night unfortunately but we're still gonna make the most of it it's meant to be sunny and it's always gonna be better than the weather here in montreal so i'm super excited we got a pack i'm leaving in only a few days so i'll show you everything that i'm packing if you like this packing video i've made other packing videos as well so usually when i go on a trip i make another packing video so i will link them all right here so you can go check them out and if you don't want to miss the Nashville video because of course I'll be vlogging the whole trip make sure to subscribe to make sure you never miss one of my videos all right let's get to packing so when I pack I have the same process every time I have a Google list I have a packing like a regular packing list with all of the items I always or usually bring when I'm traveling and then what I do is I make a copy of that list for the specific trip. So like on my regular packing list, you know, you'll have all the essentials, like a raincoat, running shoes, beauty things, like all the regular stuff. And then I add the specific things for the Nashville trip. So I have made a Nashville packing list right here. And we're gonna make sure that we have everything on there before leaving. What I also do is I plan all of my outfits on here. So I have like outfit for day one and I know what day one, the activities we're doing for the evening, day two, etc. My list is all done. I've already started planning a few things. So I'm gonna show you what we got. Let's start with the non that exciting things, right? So like the things that I bring on every, every trip with me. So I put all of my toiletries in a clear bag like this because this is something I haven't mentioned just yet, but we are packing everything in a carry-on. So no checking bags, it's only for four days. I will, however, bring an extra bag that I can show you right now. So this bag, so I'm putting everything in a carry-on, but I'm bringing this bag just like folded with me in the carry-on so that way when I do sh shopping and I know I will be doing some shopping so I have some extra space to bring back some stuff so to bring back we might not fit everything in a carry-on but to go there everything must fit in a carry-on so that's why I use a clear bag for my toiletry so that way I can just take it out more easily at security and they can see everything that is in there and in here we have all the essentials you know face lotion face soap, serums, hair stuff. We got everything in there. I also put my makeup in this little transparent pouch because some of it are sometimes considered liquid depending on the airport you go to. So I've put all of this in here. So same thing, I can just easily take it out of my backpack at security. Got some hair accessories in here. So I'm bringing, of course, my fringy scrunchie. No better place than Nashville for this. In here I have all of my like jewelry. As you can see, this is not well organized. I am looking for like a little jewelry organizer one. So if you know a good one, leave it in the comment down below so I can check it out. Thanks for your help. Other essentials, we have electric toothbrush, a flat iron. When I straighten my hair or curl it, I always use the flattening iron. I don't have also a curling iron, so this does it all. And then I have packed already some socks and some underwear and some of these packing cubes. I love packing cubes. I bought them a few years ago and I even got some new ones as a gift. I feel like they are perfect for packing. It keeps all of your little stuff together, especially for things like underwear and socks that it's so easy to just get everywhere. So definitely recommend packing cubes. Okay, let me show you all the clothes I'm packing now. All right, time for clothes. So first, um, putting aside what I need for the plane, 
right? What I'm gonna wear on the plane. I'm packing these sneakers. These are my favorite sneakers. They come with me everywhere. So I'm gonna wear these on the plane. And these are actually the only shoes I'm bringing on the trip. And I'll tell you why in a second. So we got the running shoes and then I'll be wearing just like a black regular t-shirt. And these are not the actual pants I'm planning on wearing. So these are just my classic Lululemon Align leggings. I've ordered the flare pants, so the Align flare pants, and I got them hem. I hope that's the right way of saying it, at the store. And they are actually ready for pickup. I got the email today, so I'm gonna go pick them up just before the trip. So imagine these, but with a little flare bottom instead. Same idea. So these are gonna be my like plain pants that I can also rewear in the trip with, like I said, just the basic black t-shirt. This one is from American Eagle. And then I never go on a trip without my Patagonia sweater. This is the warmest sweater ever. And since it is still winter here, and it is winter in Nashville, I'm going to be bringing this Lole jacket that actually can fit in this tiny pocket like this. So this is why it's such a good traveling staple. And I'm bringing, of course, a toque and some gloves. So this is our outfit for the plane. Now, that's where it gets exciting. So day one, we're going to be walking around. So I want to be comfy and I want to be warm because then again, it's I think it's like a forecast of like five degrees. Sunny, but five degrees. So I'm bringing these leather leggings from Dynamite. These are not real leather. It's like a faux leather. So we're going to do leggings with my new favorite hold your horses t-shirt nothing better than a western t-shirt to go to nashville and then to make sure i'm not cold i'm bringing my lululemon sweater this is like a little bit of wool a little bit of cashmere in there and it's super long as well which is nice with the leggings so i won't be cold wearing that and i want to be a little bit funky and westerny so i'm gonna bring my bandana that i can wear as a scarf as well with this outfit. We're gonna pair it with the sneakers and I'm gonna bring my tried and true Herschel little backpack that I also bring on every trip because it's just the perfect size of a bag to carry around all day. So that's outfits for day one, but in the evening we got tickets to go to the Bluebird Cafe. So for that, I'm just gonna bring some flare jeans these are american eagle ones i love them so flattering and i'm gonna pair them with a black bodysuit from dynamite we're gonna add a western belt this one is from simon's and i'm also bringing my letter jacket just for style so i think this is gonna look cute with that and now in my feet i'm not gonna wear my sneakers like i said earlier i'm planning on doing some shopping in nashville and one thing i want to buy is i want to buy a new pair of cowgirl boots and i want to buy at least a hat at least one hat and these takes a lot of space and a suitcase they're also very heavy so i'm not bringing any of my boots or any of my hats which really the goal of buying some new ones when i'm there so i can go get some pair of cowgirl boots and that's what i'm gonna wear with this outfit. Make sure you watch a Nashville video to see the boots. Okay, let's do day two. So we have a big day of walking around, at least at the point on day two, going all the way to the Parthenon. So wanna be comfy, I think I'm gonna wear my flare pants that I still don't have. And I'm gonna pair it with my Shania Twain t-shirt, cause then again, can't go to Nashville and not wear my favorite Shania Twain t-shirt. And to be warm, we're gonna pair it with another Lululemon sweater. And again, we're gonna do the little bandana with the sneakers, with the backpack. And then of course, if it's cold as it's supposed to be, then I'm just gonna have my jacket that I can put on top of it. And then in the evening, we're going to Music Row Happy Hour. It's a radio show on Sirius XM The Highway that I listen to every Friday night and we're gonna go. So to go there, I'm planning on wearing my black skinny jeans from American Eagle and I'll pair it with another bodysuit. This one is blue. It's the same one as the black one I showed you earlier, also from Dynamite. And I'm hoping, I'm planning on pairing it with my letter jacket, this belt and a pair of the boots that I'm 
gonna buy. And as well for like an evening handbag, I'm gonna bring this one. I've had this for so many years, but I still love it. This is from American Eagle and it has like a Western buckle and it's pink. How cute. Let's check the list, see how we're doing. So we got day one, evening one, day two, evening two. Perfect. So we're at day three and so far we got everything we need. Great. Day three, another day of activities. So I'm going to rewear my flare blue jeans and I'm going to pair them with my favorite black turtleneck. This is from H&M with jeans. I can pair it with this belt and just my jacket, hat, running shoes just to be comfortable. So that's for today. And then in the evening, we are going to the Grand Ole Opry. Like, so, so exciting. So Grand Ole Opry, we want to look nice and I want to look as country, but also classy, you know? So my idea is to pair my leather leggings again, and I'm going to wear it with this shirt. That is also from American Eagle. It's a bit see-through, so I'm just gonna pair it with a black tank top underneath. But it's like super flowy with the sleeve and everything, super boho and country with some of the new boots I will have bought and my little pink handbag. So that should be a really cute Grenoble Opry outfit. And then right now we're at the last day of our trip. So for Sunday, um, we don't have that much time because our flight our flight is in the afternoon So I'm just thinking I'm gonna rewear uh, re some of the stuff that I've already worn. So we're just gonna go I think for those jeans again uh, I'm probably gonna have bought at least one new t-shirt So I'm hoping I can wear a new t-shirt if not I can rewear this one where we're staying It's like an apartment style. So there is a washing machine So if anything happens to this I can wash it and then just like a warm sweater on top of this and my sneakers. And that's everything I'm packing to wear. We have a pajama as well, the underwear, the socks. I'm gonna bring as well a tote bag. I got this one at Urban Outfitters. But I find these are so useful when traveling. I can just put them in the backpack through the day and if I do some shopping or if I need an extra bag, I can have it. The makeup, everything. And then we have space to shop. We can bring back the boots. We can bring back a hat that I can put on my head. So I'm not even bringing any of my hat from my collections of hat, which is sad in a way, but I'm also excited to be buying a brand new hat. All right, so going back to the list, I've shown you my vlogging gear, backpack for the day, I have a purse for the evening, outfit day one, evening day two, we got all of this, have a coat, my curling iron, yeah, we have everything on here, so I'll just be able to tick things off when I put everything in my suitcase so good job we're all packed we're ready to go to nashville thank you so much for packing with me i hope you enjoyed this video if you did please give it a thumbs up and make sure to subscribe so you don't miss out miss out on the nashville vlog i think it's going to be a really fun one and also if you want to see what the full-on looks look like make sure to watch it so thanks again for watching and i'll see you in the nashville vlog bye